I could say that I spent my childhood in, in a small countryside villages. Uh, I've been drawing as long as I remember. That, that was something I, I liked a lot. And, and making things by, with, with my hands, that was also very important. I was uh, studying textiles um, in, in a handicraft school so that I, I learned how to weave and, and how to spin and kind of traditional textile manufacturing methods, but also different kind of art methods. We, we were studying some wood cutting and things like that. So it was very wide, um, um, it offered wide opportunity to, to learn different kind of methods to use for expression of, of yourself. So here I, I have uh, pictures or images or sculptures. I don't know how to, to <laughs> call them because they are somehow in, in between of, of those. They are may, maybe you can't call them totally drawings or paintings, or they are not totally sculptures either, but they are somewhere in the meeting point of these two or, or three um, uh, directions. So I, I have uh, made uh, pictures of, of or, or works of, of uh, human beings and how they relate to, to nature. And, and uh, this building is also very fascinating and the history of it is very fascinating. And first time when I came here, I, I felt some kind of um, uh, melancholy. There has been also um, sad things happening, but also a lot of joy. Uh, so um, I thought, I, I, I have tried to kind of interview uh, the, these um, kind of uh, things in, into the figures of, of human beings. Well, one person that has a, a focus on lungs and uh, very, very often I feel like when, and, and uh, quite many of my friends also speak about that when they are excited or somehow um, emotional, it feels here. And our, if we think about language, we very often talk about our, our heart, that it's a place where things are felt, and also how it affects to, to our breath. And, and uh, so the, this area of body is kind of um, that you, well, it's a center of our body and uh, it could be also described as the center of, of our feelings. And uh, so there is that kind of uh, person in, in the middle and then uh, I, I'm very fascinated about the textures of, of the uh, walls here. There are different kind of stones and bricks and uh, different methods of, of uh, making these very thick uh, walls. And, and I kind of felt that there, there are still some kind of echoes of the people who have been living in this room rooms and, and uh, stayed here. So they kind of uh, relate to, to something that, that happens now, now so that the, there is a bridge over the time. Uh, so that could be one interpretation. I'm using, uh, as, as a material of my works, I'm using uh, flax, linen fiber, and uh, that is somehow very important for me because that has also very long history going back to, to several thousand years um, and, and human beings has been used it in, in a absolute unbelievably big uh, or, or variety. It has been used, of course, as a clothing, but also for households, for, for farming or, or, or to, to, to animals. And, and one 
interesting point I, I found from history that it has been also used as a protection, kind of war protection, like a harness. So that when, when you layer uh, linen uh, fibers, that, that makes it very hard. So that it, it's kind of uh, protection, but at the same time, the character of the fibers, they are very different. Some are very hard and some are very fine, like a silk and anything in between. So in a way, it has uh, um, certain similarities to our skin. So I, I think that it reflects those things, feelings, and, and body, how, how they are felt in our bodies. The, the, the material flax reflects quite well those things because it reminds so much of, of uh, our protect, protection layer, <laughs> what we have on, on our skin. And, and also I, I like the, the idea that I am um, one chain in the history of, of use of linen. I feel it's... it's um, great to think that there has been uh, generations, thousands of generations using the same, very same material as I am using now. Um, and and uh, one thing is that uh, it's natural fiber, so I don't want to produce kind of harmful things with my works or create any problems. Uh, to, to uh, people after me. I don't want to um, underline any particular group of people or, or age, sex, like you said, um, be because um, at the end our feelings are rather similar and we miss quite a similar things, communication, other people, basic uh, things to, to um, survive. So in, in that way, I, I don't um, think they are that, that important when I try to reflect uh, the, the feelings and different levels of them, because we all have them in spite of what, what other, um, other um, recognizable um, details we, we, we have. Here it was really great that, that I could also um, uh, work with uh, something that will be displayed in, in uh, outside, outdoor. Um, as I've been uh, thinking of that many, many years, but, but for some reason there hasn't been a suitable uh, place or, or situation for that. So here um, it was really great and I'm very thankful that, that, I, could, that kind, I, I got that kind of possibility to, to work with the uh, uh, works, outdoor works. And uh, uh, I, I, I try to continue this, this kind of body element uh, ideas uh, also outside. And uh, I am rather concerned with the environmental situation at the moment. So that is some kind of um, my little statement to, to the, or for, for the protection of the nature that, that we have uh, uh, trees that are in a way lungs of, of, of the world or, and, and our surrounding and uh, they, they, we, we should take care of them. Uh, we should plant them, we, we should think about how, how we uh, use wood material. So that, that is um, mainly I think the environmental statement of, of uh, but of, of course we also have to feel we, to be able to pro protect nature we must have a strong feeling for it to, to make it 
so important to us that, that we are ready to work for that. What uh, made me really um, uh, interested in and, and also um, uh, positively surprised that, that, that the whole community here in, in Trevares is so dedicated for um, finding uh, new ways to, to take care of, of uh, nature and, and uh, also teaching and sharing information for, for visitors. That is, I think it's very valuable work and uh, developing new plants and, and uh, making beautiful surroundings and, and uh, planting systems um, in, into the garden and, and uh, to the forest. That is very great job and um, admirable job to, to do. So, so I, I, I was really kind of happy to find this kind of place <laughs> on, the, on the world or, or on the earth that, that uh, uh, there's uh, good things happening.